I want to thank uh, Carlos and Owen and Adam for inviting us to their business. Um, I also want to thank the other folks that we've uh, had a discussion with for coming over. We've got uh, folks that have benefited from the tax relief, both as a small business owner and or a, an employee, uh, except for Mike, he's a firefighter. And uh, it's uh, been a good discussion. Here's what I come away with. It. One, the tax relief helped small businesses a lot. And since small businesses create two-thirds of the new jobs of America, it is no wonder that our job base is expanding. Because when you help a small business owner with tax relief, you're helping to create employment. And that's what we're seeing across the country. We've had 5.1 million new jobs in the last two and a half years. A lot of it has to do with the fact that our small business owners are confident and they're investing and they're expanding the job base. I talked to Shannon Bennett, she's a single mom with one young son. He saved about uh, 1200 or $1,300 on her tax, uh, on her taxes this past year. And it's important for her family that she has got some uh, additional money. Owen, I mean Mike, uh, got three children, he's a firefighter. The tax relief helped. In other words, tax relief helped the small business owners, it's helped our families. And what's interesting is the tax relief is set to expire. Actually, there are some Democrats in Congress who'd like to raise taxes now. And if that happens, it'll be a tax increase no one expects, no one wants. It'd be like getting hit by one of these uh, granite rocks. And so I, I, I strongly urge the United States Congress to understand the positive effects of the tax relief and to keep the taxes low, keep the taxes low on the working people, keep the taxes low on these small business owners, so that we continue, so that we can continue to be the uh, an economy that leads the world. And I want to thank you for your time letting us come by. It's tax day, and it's a day to uh, recommit ourselves to low taxes. It's a day that understands that uh, when these people filing out their forms and writing checks to the government, that it's uh, it's the people's money that's coming to Washington D.C. And we intend to let people keep more of their own money for the sake of the economy and for the sake of our families. So thanks for letting us come by. Appreciate your hard work. I love the fact that you're living the American dream. Thank you. All right.